I am currently on my way to a private airport to go take the part 107 small UAS commercial pilot test. Wish me luck. We'll see how I do in a couple hours. See you. This is the place I'm going to be taking the test. Wish me luck. So I just got out of the test. Nailed it. Uh, certificate, ready to go. I'm not gonna go into the detail of what is part 107 test because if you're watching this video and then you actually know how to search for part 107, you probably already know what it is. So I'm just gonna skip all that and go directly into my experience in taking this test. So let's talk about my experience on FAA Part 107 test. I took it at a Class D airport and I pretty much went into the office, signed all the necessary documents and a exam proctor took me into the room with the computer. He went through all the rules about the test, things like no cheating, no cell phone and all that good stuff. Then I started the test. The good thing about it is that the FAA Airman Knowledge Supplement is provided during the test. So you don't have to worry about memorizing all those legends and symbols. It took me about an hour to finish the test and go back and check some answers. And I did change some answers when I went back and you know, I ended up getting it wrong by changing it sucks okay so no more bs let's get down to business and let's talk about the test the actual test itself and i'm going to assume that these are going to be the question that you'll be asking so i'm going to try my very best to answer them so did i pass yes i did pass on my first attempt so what is on the test i don't remember because it's 60 questions way too many questions so even if i tell you what's on the test i can almost 100 percent guarantee that you won't get the same test because the test is randomly generated a set of 60 questions out of a large big question bank so the level of difficulty of each person getting the test is kind of different and the categories of each topic is kind of different too so how did I study? So I took this online course and it does cost $250, but I think it's really worth it. The instructor online is very helpful. Uh, you email him a question, he will usually respond back within an hour. It's very, he's very responsive on answering emails. So there are lecture notes and lecture that the actual re uh, lecture slides that he made so i went through all the lecture and lecture notes at least four times to really let the material sink in and there are five practice tests uh, i did them about 10 times question changes every single time that you take it so it kind of simulate the actual test itself. And the next question will be how is the actual test compared to the practice test I took? Uh, there were some questions that I so there were some questions that are exactly the same as the practice test from the online test prep. If not the question is either rephrased or the choices are rephrased but it's almost the same concept as the practice test. I'll say five to 10 questions that were exactly the same. The next question will be, what is the percentage of each topic or sections that were on my test? I didn't actually count, but it is about the same as the FAA topic breakdown on the website. Percentage wise about the same. But I do believe that I have a lot of questions on sectional charts and UAV operation. 
But I think there are some questions that can be answered based on a little bit of common sense without even studying the material. For instance, what can hyperventilation lead to? And another one could be, is it important to have appropriate inspections and a good maintenance record for each flight? Of course, you know, this kind of question popped out left and right once a while during the 60 question test. So stuff like that, I think anyone without studying the course can kind of guess the correct answer. Now it comes down to the last question. What is my recommendation and advice to all the ones who are preparing for this test? I'll say don't drink when you study. Actually, it depends on whatever style of you, how you, how you study. Some people drink, some people. Oh, actually, I should never mind. Scratch that out. Scratch that out. I'll say take the online course and read through all the lecture notes at least three times. Oh, of course, uh, you can see the the online lectures link down below in the comment section and. Do, Read through the lecture now at least three times before you go to sleep. I say that's a pretty good idea. And watch through all the video at least two times because each video is about five minutes. It has a very precise and condensed a lot of information in within the video. So you, sometimes you might have to rewind it and, and watch it again. So when you go through a lecture, don't skim through it. Don't just skim through it. Really read each single word and understand every single sentence in order for you to internalize all these materials. So I guess that's it. Uh, if you have any further questions, leave any comments or uh, Leave any comments below if you have any further questions, and I will I'll usually answer them. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hopefully, this video is helpful for anyone who's planning on taking the test. And good luck on your studying. I just sold a drone. This one within a day on eBay. And this one is really well packaged, so I don't have to worry about packaging it. All I do is just close the box and put the chicken label on top of it. However, I also sold this accessory also, but there's no box with it. So I need to improvise. And this is how I'm going to do it. Brown paper bag. Put that in here. Secure. Any packaging. So, but this week, we're sending our last engineer back to his place. Right now, I'm taking him to the airport. Uh, just to kind of sum something up. So I, th I think uh, all the engineer has been a good, good colleague to work with and a good friend to have. So that's it. Peace out. Righty.